poverty is a process, it's not a state. It's a process of impoverishment which matters. There is no poor by definition. There is no poor by nature. Poverty is not a natural fact. It's not true that those that think always that poverty has been always there, uh, we have all today poverty, that will be always poor, etc. No. Poverty is a process of a social exclusion. I would define it, poverty, as a social exclusion, a process. And as a social sort of process, you have producers of impoverishment. And uh, the greatest producers of impoverishment in the world are the unjust society. Means societies that uh, don't believe that uh, people are equal vis-à-vis -vis the rights. A society which considers that uh, you must deserve to have uh, rights. So you wanted the right to water, you must deserve it. You must be productive. You must be financially productive. Uh, this is a very unjust society and this unjust society creates impoverishment. And the greater is uh, the acceptance of the inequalities, the greater the society will be socially unjust, the greater you have impoverishment. And not by accident that in the world development, the developing world, the United States are on top of the social injustice rank. And this is why you are poor. And you have the most important uh, segment of impoverishing in the most developed world because your society is structurally unjust. You don't believe that black and white are equal don't believe that the men and women are equal. We don't believe that rich or less rich people are equal. You believe that they are unequal. And that inequality is a sign of your impotence, of your hierarchy, that you are better, you are most defeated, etc. Et so this is my definition of poverty.